In the world of Fablet, Samsung refreshes the Note series every year. But the Z5 Premium is Sony's only flagship Fablet since the Z Ultra, which was launched more than two years ago. I'm Ray with Flashing Droid. Which is better? Let's find out. This is the battle between my favorite Android smartphones in 2015. They are both constructed with aluminum and glass. They both succeeded to deliver the premium feeling in hand. However, on the Note 5, there's a 3D curve on the back glass panel, which is more palm friendly. In contrast, if you're looking for the Chrome version for the Z5 Premium, it is a plain mirror. They both look premium, but Sony is keeping its minimalist design. The overall design language on the Z5 Premium is more or less the same as the previous Xperia devices. Meanwhile, the mirror on the back makes the whole design sublime. Even though the rectangular body isn't the world's most comfy smartphone to hold. Yes, the Note 5 is the clear winner here, without a doubt. However, there is no microSD card slot on the Note 5, while the capacity of the sealed-in battery is 3000 mAh. On the Z5 Premium 3430, as well as a microSD card slot, and IP68 water and dust resistant. So, for the comfortable feeling in hands, I will go for the Note 5. But, for the minimalist design, and a high level of manufacturing technology, I will go for the Z5 Premium. The performance the Note 5 features an Exynos 7420 processor with 4GB of RAM. The 3GB of RAM and the Snapdragon 810 on the Z5 Premium is left behind in this comparison. Mind you, the Z5 Premium is the world's first smartphone with a 4K display. Not a 4K smartphone to be exact, but a smartphone with a 4K screen. The reason is, the Z5 Premium renders the system UI at 1080p. This results in smoother performance, as well as less battery hungry. The downside is, you will only be able to tell the difference when you are watching videos or looking at your photos with the native album app. If this is the case, the Z5 Premium will upscale any sources below 4K resolution, up to near 4K quality. To me, I can notice the Z5 Premium is a little bit sharper and more crisp. Well, for daily basis usage, I can barely tell the difference. Compared to 4K, I personally think the sparkling contrast and the white frame contrast on the Z5 Premium is more practical. It delivers higher contrast ratio, as well as the light bleeding problem when the phone is tilted is almost eased. The black is black. Move on to the features and functions. The S Pen on the Note 5 is more features packed than ever. Imagine, when you are late, even do not have the time to take out your pencil. The screen of Mammal does help. The hovering control as well as the scroll capture and the screen right. They work fascinating on the Note 5. Meanwhile, multi-window together with floating windows is the best combination for multitasking. Yes, there is also floating window on the Z5 Premium. Unluckily, they are just tools or widgets, not a full apps. Maybe a great feature for gamers and those who would like to share their screen recordings. Here you go, only on the Z5 Premium. However, unlike the Note 5, the Z5 Premium lacks a one-handed mode. It may be handy for those who want a phablet, but use it with just one hand. Well, yes, the fingerprint sensor. On the Z5 Premium, it is placed on the right side of the device. It is noticeably quicker than the Note 5, but is it convenient? It depends. The camera, the Note 5, features a 16 megapixels camera with f1.9 aperture. Hold on, the Z5 Premium packs a 23 megapixels camera with f2.0 aperture. 
even though without OIS, Steady Short works exceptionally great. In contrast, the Note 5, even with the help of OIS, the footage is still more or less shaky. For the still photos, under low light condition, as you can see the Note 5 outperforms the Z5 Premium. Even with the night mode on, the Note 5 gives more details while the digital noise is handled a lot better as well. Under broad daylight, however, the Z5 Premium handles the dynamic range better. So, which has the better camera? It depends. If you really like taking night photos, go for the Note 5. Meanwhile, the Z5 Premium is unbeatable for video recording. The loudspeakers. Even though the Z5 Premium packs two front-facing speakers, the clarity, the bass, and the volume is not as good as the Note 5. But it gives better video watching and gaming experience anyway. So finally, the battery life. Using our standard battery life test, 10 more percent of the battery is needed for the Z5 Premium to complete the whole 4 hour long YouTube videos playback test while 41% is left on the Note 5, with the highest screen brightness. So, make our decision, which is better. The overall design on the Z5 Premium is more refined, while the Note 5 is smoother to hold with a curved glass panel on the back. But, with the same choice of materials, Sony is able to add a microSD card slot as well as IP68 water and dust resistance. The technology is more advanced here. For raw performance, go for the Note 5 straight away. It is also the only choice if you love the S Pen as well as the multi-window functions. In contrast, if you are looking for the absolute best camcorder on a smartphone, the Z5 Premium is unbeatable. With an IPS display which gives deep blacks, high saturation. Also, the 4K resolution, even just in the native album app. So, which is better for you to pick? Look at your wishlist and what is essential to be your next phone.